stitch your friends I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel Little Line Stitchery where we talk about cross stitch so today I'm gonna to start off with announcements so so I'm a um, graphic slash multimedia designer and it's always been my dream to uh, create patterns so I've been working on something that I'm really excited about um, and I was sketching the other day, um, so I've been working on a Zodiac series, and um, currently I'm working on Pisces, but then the other day I was sketching Sagittarius, so this is kind of like a little preview of what that's going to look like, and I'm really excited. Um, I was thinking about it for a long time, and let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I was thinking about just doing monochromatic white. And then, like, letting the fabric show through. Because a lot of pieces, um, so usually I'm into, like, bold outlines and, and just, um, like, bold colors. Ooh, sorry for shaking the table. <laughs> um, bold colors. But I think um, because there's so many different variations of fabric and, like, just, like, um, not glittery, but um, the opalescent fabrics. I was thinking that we can, I don't know, I just thought it would look really cool if it was all like white outline on a really cool like galaxy background, but instead of stitching it, you're just using um, like a unique fabric choice. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that. Sorry if you hear typing in the background. <sighs> Such a loud typer. Once everyone wakes up, I can't get a moment's peace between Mike and Link, and it's just madness. Sorry, I don't know why my, my camera keeps zooming in and out. Not sure what that's about. Anyway, yeah, so working on a Zodiac series, so I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys would be excited too. Um, yeah, and then I've just been stitching some whips. Mostly I've been doing that and then doing other creative things that we'll talk about a little bit later. But as for whips, I have Gypsy Queen. I've made quite a bit of progress on her. Um, pretty much all the spots that are left blank are beads or uh, the Karen Water Lilies. Um, or the, because um, a lot of that, the mixing, the sorry, the missing, <laughs> um, spots in her dress are a blend, and I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing my blends, so um, I'm kind of saving them a little bit later. Right now I'm kind of going back in certain parts because I did um, forget to do, like, sorry, some of the, I don't know, just some of the colors in here, I forgot one of the skin tones, I'm just going back and, and adding in the bits that I have missed, and then, yeah, working my way down. Working on that sash, and yeah, and this is Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia. Um, I might have forgot to say that. <laughs> Sorry, it's one of those days. Anyway, it's always one of those days with me. But yeah, Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia, and I'm stitching her on 32 count Belfast, uh, the raw natural Belfast linen. And then, sorry, if I can get a close of my hair. All this hair. Anyway, and this is Raccoon Ravel that I was working on. Um, yeah, I was just, I don't know. I felt like taking it out and stitching quite a bit on it. And this pumpkin, man, it feels like, oh, isn't this cute? The raccoon's cute. So this is Raccoon Ravel by Plum Street Samplers. And it's going to be a family of raccoons. So I just started with a little raccoon and the pumpkin. And there's like a bee and there's like flowers where those spots are missing. And I, yeah, I just feel like this pumpkin is taking me forever, but. And then it's on 28 count. I always forget what it's called. Antique white. It's the antique white, but it's very yellow in color. But I coffee dyed it to, sorry, my hamstring is coming off. Um, to give it more of a rustic look. And this I'm stitching for my friend who, uh, she rescues baby raccoons. I don't know, it's just really cute. So I wanted to make them a raccoon. I want to stitch them something that has raccoons in it. 
and then that's it for whips and I have tons and tons of haul because I'm getting ready for Stitch Mania um, and let me know if you guys are participating in Stitch Mania it's a lot of fun there's a Facebook group uh, and comment down below if you are stitching if you have anything uh, that you want to share that you're stitching for Stitch Mania because I am doing plans next week I have a list of 15 last year I did around 15 16 pieces I last year was the first time that I participated and I was very ambitious and I thought I would do a new start every day that didn't happen um, so I did like a new start every other day and this year I plan to do the same thing even though I don't like having a lot of whips so a lot of them will be smaller yep in addition to working on Gypsy Queen uh, so I've been like stocking up um, completely. Oh, and I forgot it would help if you saw this on a grime guard. Or, sorry, on a Q snap, but I've been making grime guards. Get out of here. <laughs> grime guards. Um, and this I made for my 11 inch Q snap. And then I had another one somewhere. Yeah, but this is going to go for my 11 inch one. And it fits up to the 11 by 14. I always like to make my grime guards fit multiple sizes, um, just so I don't have to make grime guards for each size. This one I had another grime guard somewhere. I don't know, it's buried under all my other haul, I guess. Because I got lots of fabric. So here's some cute bunnies. These are all from fabric.com. So here's some cute bunnies on like a mustard color background. They have it in, um, they have the mustard, they have a baby pink, a baby blue, and a green and a red, I think. But I hear color yellow, so I got yellow. And I'll leave this for next week, but I'm doing a conversion of a pattern that, I don't know, it's going to look really cute with this grime card on it. I don't know, I'm doing this thing where I'm like coordinating my projects with grime guards. I know some of you do that, or some of you just um, match to your, like the season. Well, I guess could match your project if you're a seasonal stitcher. Yeah. I don't know, I'm like making noises over there. Anyway, uh, and then we have this constellation fabric, and I don't know if you can tell, but the constellations of the stars are like metallic, which is cute. I don't like glitter um, because it just gets everywhere, but I really like the metallic because it adds just like a simple like sheen to it and makes it look cute. So yeah, constellations, all about constellations, zodiacs, that whole thing. And then more of that. And this also has like some gold metallic accents. If this will zoom, it probably won't because it's in the plastic. So my bad, I guess. Now it's upside down. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's got some metallic accents. And then I have some bee fabric. Or not bee, sorry, just the honeycomb. Because I have some lots of bee fabric that I needed a um, complimentary fabric for. Sorry if you can hear him chewing. He's such a loud everything. <laughs> And then I have this cute bunny and unicorn. It also has gold metallic accents. Um, so it's got, it's like a forest scene and it's got um, birds and unicorns and bunnies. Really cute. So this fabric is going to be used for grime guards and then also, I'll take this one out since the plastic, I opened the plastic. Um, so I'm working on some project bags. Um, so I'll probably have one for next week to show you, but I want to make a whole bunch of project bags for all my Stitch Mania stuff. Didn't really get around to that, but I'm making a lot of grind birds for Stitch Mania. Uh, and then this moth pattern, which I love moths. I love anything like lunar, so sorry, I don't know why. Oh, oh, stop doing that. I don't know why that's doing that. It's really annoying. Sorry, I don't want to like... I don't know why that keeps doing that. Anyway, um, if you couldn't see it, sorry, the screen was just like flashing. 
very not cool. I don't know. I think it's like a focus issue. Anyway, so pretty moths. I love anything like lunar and moth and like I said, constellations, stars, anything of that nature. And then, yeah, I started to cut my grime guards and these are going to be for um, 8 by 8 to 8 by 11 Q-snaps. And bunnies. Oh, they're so cute. And yeah, I will tell you next week what the pattern, like what my first Stitch Mania piece is, because I converted it. I'm very excited to do it. So it's going to be the first one, day one, all that jazz. Um, yeah, so subscribe to my channel so you get to see that. Um, sorry, here's plastic. <laughs> And then I have lots, oh wait, no, still more fabric. I got more horoscopes and constellations. Very pretty, like, watercolor. Oh, and then there's suns and moons. Sorry. Ugh. The color's not really showing up well, but there's plastic on it. So I just didn't feel like taking everything out of the plastic. And then I thought this would have been a nice complimentary like fabric to the moths, but I don't know, the color just isn't right. So some moons and some stars, just very simple. But yeah, I thought I was gonna use that for a lot of fabric, so I got a lot of it. And I don't know if I'm gonna use it anymore. Very sad, but I'll use it for something, I'm sure. And here's the other grime card I found. Um, again, this is an 11 by 11. Oh, it's got cute little dinosaurs on it. The other one, it was just patterned, but this one's really cute. I don't know if you can, like, see the dinosaurs. I don't know. I'm sure I showed the fabric when I got the fabric, because I'm in love with the fabric. But yeah, it's got cute little dinosaurs. Very space galaxy looking. And I love it. Oh, and then I have a matching needle minder. My backings finally came in, so I was very excited about that. Isn't it cute? Oh, look at my little lion. So cute, so cute. Let me get my hand off the little... Cover my face. Come on, there we go. And then um, my sister saw that I was making these, and she thought they were really cute, so I just made this one for her. Little T-Rex. Space T-Rex. But yeah. And I posted a tutorial last week. I think it was like last week, um, on how to make them, because they're super simple, and if you have, I don't know, I've been getting into this fabric buying kick lately. I really don't need any more fabric, obviously, <laughs> after all the fabric that I bought. And then I did, um, one, two, three stitch haul, so I got some floss that I needed for a pattern. Again, if you want to know what patterns I'm stitching for Stitch Mania, um, subscribe and that will be posted next week for the start and then this is my first um, picture what is it picture this plus yeah picture this plus fabric uh, I'm not sure if I like it's murky I'm not sure if I like how the color came out but you know it was um, called for for one of the patterns that I'm doing oops sorry Actually, it doesn't, look, uh, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but I don't know if I like the way it looks in person. We'll see if I'm going to use it. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is my first um, picture of this plus purchase, which... I don't know, I would have bought different fabric um, as my first, but like I said, I need that for a pattern. And, that's, and then I bought a lot of um, 40 count. So I don't stitch on 40 count, but I was thinking about doing some embroidery. And I've never done hand embroidery before. Well, I guess it's not true. Technically, cross-stitching is a form of embroidery. Anyway, but anyway, I got all of these different colors of 40 count to, do, to try. Let's do it that way. Oh, this is just a pretty gray to try embroidery on. What color is this? Alabaster. 
like an off white, a white off white kind of color. If I show it back here, that might work well. Uh, Midnight Linen, and this is by, I forget who dyed this. Lake House Lens, I think it's called. And what color is this? This is, oh, just the raw Newcastle? Did I buy this? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I just don't remember buying it. But yeah, this is just the, the raw color in 40 count. And let's see. This is water green. It's actually very pretty. I thought it was going to be a different color, but I don't know. I think it's very pretty. So I should probably learn to embroider. And this is Malo. Another. Sorry, there's these strands of fuzz everywhere. Um, yeah, just another pretty natural color. So yeah, we'll see if what I'm going to do with those. And then I hand dyed some of my fabric. I really like dyeing my own fabric so I can get it just the color I want. So I purchased some 32 count colonial blue. It's a really pretty color. And then I dyed some. So let's see, this was royal blue and navy. And whenever I dye, it's not always solid all the way through. Um, I try, but it's not always the way it works. No, it's a lot lighter in person. Maybe that's good. And I didn't use the, um, the, was it the fixative? And I probably should have, um, cause I did want it to stay darker, but whatever. And this, um, I just dyed after I dyed, what is that called? I, like this is just, um, from this. So it's just like a little bit lighter shade. <clears throat> I just had more dye and I didn't want to waste it. And I don't mind if the colors are lighter. <clears throat> Sorry. But yeah, I really like the way those came out. And then I stitched this, which came out, I mean, it came out way too light, but I actually like it. And I think I'm going to use it for a different project. Because I like all the modeling that happened in it. No, I don't like that side. I like this side better. <laughs> no, it's just really, I don't know if you can, oops. I'm trying to see what I'm showing you. Um, I don't know, it just has really pretty. Oh, this corner is really pretty. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's got a lot of um, like striations in it, like darker. It looks like waves. So I don't know. I just thought that was really, really pretty. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with how they died, even though. They weren't quite the color that I was looking for, but I don't know. Uh, who is it? Uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross always. I mean, there's no such thing as mistakes. Only happy accidents. So that's what we're gonna call these happy accidents. So yeah, if it doesn't dye a color that I want it to be, I'm sure I will use it for a different project. And then, oh, and then I dyed, I bought some new dye because I didn't have these colors and this was the tan. So these are going to be neutrals, right? Yes, tan, which came out. So I dyed the, again, it was the antique white. So it wasn't, um, the white way it was a little bit yellowish to begin with and this came out a little bit more like red orangey than I liked I really like the way the taupe dyed it 
and it came out like more, I don't know, just more brown, just more, a little bit more um, rich. I don't, rich isn't the word I'm looking for, but like, I don't know, more sophisticated looking, I guess. I don't know, I just really like the color brown that it came out. One day, I'll have my own little studio, and I can make videos in peace. Again, sorry if you can hear that. Mike's like, I'm doing his water bottle, taking drinks, doing his, you know, living. <laughs> Can't be mad at him for living his life. We share a very small space, so. And then, okay, so starting next week, I'm going to be doing, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that, Again, at Little Lion Citry, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, you'll know that I did a giveaway with Peacock and Fig, with Dana from Peacock and Fig. Because <laughs> um, she just recently did a class, a constellation class, and I had happened to have some constellation fabric that I had just bought. Um, so I asked if she wanted to do a giveaway with me. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. So for Stitch Mania, I'm actually planning on doing giveaways. Where's my Stitch Mania? So I've been making, oh, come on, come back to us. There we go. Uh, I've been making Graham Guard like a crazy person because I'm going to be doing giveaways for Stitch Mania for the month of May. So starting next week, I'm going to be doing giveaways. I think we're only going to do one a week, though. I was just going to um, stitch, you know, with the amount of fabric that I had. But I don't know, with... Um, I don't know, just with shipping and everything, it's going to, I don't know, I, I, I did a few giveaways before, and it's just like, everything's going to add up, and I'm kind of like anxious about it, you know? So, uh, if you want to be super sweet and donate, I will leave a link in the comments to, it's called Buy Me a Coffee, I don't know, um, I heard about it through another floss tuber, and... I don't know, I just thought it would be a really nice way so that I couldn't do these giveaways and not, you know, so I can just keep doing giveaways. Because I like doing giveaways, I think it's fun, um, especially if you aren't into sewing, which I'm not really into sewing, but I want to, I don't know, I just want to do something to kind of like give back, kind of. Anyway, so yeah, if you would like to donate, I will leave that um, link down in the comments. Oh, and then, sorry. So the last little bit, I forgot, I bought Q-Snaps. So when I say Q-Snaps, I've only ever actually had the the Michaels brand of snap, or, you know, the loop, loop and threads, loops and threads, loop, loop and thread. I don't know, the Michaels brand um, snap frames, which are essentially like modeled after this, they're slightly different. I could do a comparison video, um, cause I think that would be, I'll do a comparison video because I think that would um, be helpful to a lot of people. Um, and maybe I'll do a first impressions video too, because I did take these out of the package and I had some, some thoughts. Or maybe I'll do a first impressions and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let me know if you have a preference or whatever. But I got the... So I didn't have... Sorry if all the plastic noise is driving you nuts. But, oh no. Was that my 6x6? Oh, whatever. My 6x6 frame fell out because I had opened it and... I don't know. It fell out. Anyway. So I got the 6x6 because I didn't have a 6x6 frame. Uh, the 8x8. And 11 by 11 and some the small extension kit so this is the 14 inch so this is for um, it's for the 11 the 11 by 11 to make it 14 by 14 but you can also put it I mean you wouldn't want to put it in the 8 by 8 unless you don't have an 11 by 11 frame because that'll each of the extensions are three inches so you can put them in the 8x8 and it'll make it an 11x11 and then you can put it in the 6x6 to make a 9x9. Um, but yeah, so I had some some thoughts about those. I thought I would get the real deal. Um, a lot of people like the Q-Snap brand Q-Snaps over, you know, other brands of snap frames. 
So I thought I'd give it a shot and give like a do like a review because like I said I thought it would be helpful. Um, because I know Michael's like literally right down the road for me, so. I don't know, when I saw them there, I just bought them, and, uh, they've done, so I don't think price is an issue, because they're roughly the same price, unless you go on, like, Amazon, and people are, like, I don't know, the price is, like, crazy, but if you go to a stitch shop, the prices are, like, the same, so I don't know why you would get one over the other price-wise, but, obviously, if you have a craft store near you, their supplies is more readily available. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have a Michaels right by me, so I got some snap frames from them. And they've... I like them. I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about them. But we'll get into that in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week for Stitch Mania. Bye! Bye.